Rivers with some cool tech, back again with another review. And this is an Android mini PC, the MK808. What this is, is a media player for your television set that runs Android operating system. And you plug it in, you can play your internet movies, you can play streaming movies like Netflix, Vimeo, YouTube, and you can install apps on here. And this has got the latest Android operating system, Jelly Bean, on here. So it makes it uh, quite a bit faster. It's also got an upgraded processor from the old MK802. It's got a dual core A9 processor instead of the old single core A8 processor. It's got an extra USB port for USB uh, storage hookup. And it's got a better Wi-Fi connection, much better in fact. And eight gigs of NAND flash on board. It's got a gig of DDR3 memory on it as well. It plays a ton of media formats too. It's got, it plays, MKV, MPEG-1, 2, and 4, H.264, AAC, AUG, MP3. I'll put a link to it in the description below where you can get the full specs or buy it. This new version runs a lot cooler than the MK802 also. It's got these holes in the top and I think they really do the job because the thing is just a little bit warm when it's running. It's not hot like the old one was. I bought, purchased this mini HDMI to full size HDMI adapter here also. It comes with a cable that does that, but I wanted it to have, uh, I didn't, I wanted to eliminate the clutter, so I just bought this little adapter, it was like two or three dollars on Amazon. First I'm going to hook it up to my computer monitor because it's a lot easier. So I've got the HDMI going to the computer monitor, the USB going to power it, and then the Bluetooth uh, dongle into the USB port on the back there. Also I've got a 16 gig SD card inside. When you first start it up, this is what you'll see, basically a tablet version of Android. But if you go into the settings, you'll see that it's running Android 4.11, which is Jelly Bean, the latest and greatest version of Android. There are a couple settings you'll probably need to set before you get going. So you need to go to Language and Input and Default Keyboard. It thinks that it's got a physical keyboard installed when you get it so the on-screen keyboard doesn't pop up. Turn this to off, and then you will have an on-screen keyboard when you need to type. One other thing I noticed on mine was that the screen was slightly zoomed out. So here it's set to 1080p 60 hertz, which is good. That's just right. But the zoom here, uh, I went over and just slid that little slider out just a little further, and then it fit to the screen. So it didn't default fitting to the screen. So if you have a problem with that, that's what you need to do to fix it. As soon as I got logged into my wireless internet, the first thing I had to do was try out the web browser on here. And it turns out it's much, much faster than the 802. So this is a pretty demanding web page right here. Pocket Now has a ton of little articles on there. And it just loaded up really quickly here, if you can see that. We're now we're fully loaded. You can scroll all the way down. Everything's there. So that's about five times as fast as the old one. Here you can see it came with quite a few apps that are pretty useful, like YouTube, Chrome browser, uh, Google Maps, so I'm just updating the different uh, apps and they're actually updating really fast, like much faster than the old one. Almost as, not quite as fast as my Galaxy S3, but pretty pretty similar, so this is impressive. Now I want to show you what it looks like booting up on my big screen 55 inch LCD. So I'm timing the startup and it starts in under a minute. This is fast forwarded, but uh, looks like it hit the launcher at about 45 seconds. If I would have had one picked, it would have been probably 45, 50 seconds. So not too bad. So here's the desktop, totally customized out. I've got a live wallpaper on there. It's called Paper Ocean. Uh, I've got some apps installed like Netflix. Here's some uh, widgets I have. You can see my app drawer. It looks a lot like Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. You've got apps on this side, and then if you go to the top there, there's also widgets. There's the widgets. There's a couple pages of them, so it's nice they give you quite a few different things included with this built in. You don't have to go and install them. Here's how you create a folder in Jelly Bean. Just drag one app into the other one. It's a piece of cake. But you can't drag a folder into an app. Only an app into a folder. Or an app into an app. Here's my YouTube widget. You can scroll through the different videos. So this is what YouTube looks like. It's actually laid out really nice. 
and easy to use and you can type and search very easily with this uh, this setup here's my channel some cool tech and here's some of my subs places I'm subscribed to and these channels are all awesome so if you subscribe to a bunch of good channels every day when you go to YouTube you'll see a whole bunch of new videos that are just like exactly what you want to see so it's like having a totally customized out web page except for with videos where you just sit back and watch and don't have to read anything so don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'll give you lots of updates that you'll be able to see every day here's how the multitasking works on this one you click this little double square and you can do this about anytime you're in any app and switch to another app and then click it again from that app and go back to the original app so this app is uh, actually one of my favorites a super video it makes you have a pop-up window of video that you can then move around and it stays on top so like say you want to watch a web page or read a web page while you're watching a movie you just open that up in there move it over to the site and it and it works really good on this uh, version of Android too so I was kinda of thinking it might be too much for this little mini PC but it worked great so I can kinda of scoot it up into the corner so it gets out of the way and then just do my web surfing reading news watching and listening to video I also installed Go Launcher HD on here that's the tablet version of Go Launcher so here's what it looks like when it's all done being customized out uh, same live wallpaper, but I made a couple folders with different categories of stuff. So I got uh, video apps, utilities, social. This version of Jelly Bean also includes a fair amount of live wallpapers. So this is kind of nice. These are animated wallpapers that go in the background, and this. Uh, MK808 has no problem playing them. I have, haven't ran into any live wallpapers yet. It didn't play. Uh, one wouldn't install, but it was really new, so maybe it wasn't updated for Jelly Bean yet. And I just wanted to show you that it does indeed have Netflix, and it lets you run it on here, no problem, straight out of the App Store. Some devices don't uh, get Netflix because they're worried about their copy protection and things like that, but this one works good. It's nice and fast, and Netflix is a demanding app, too. Uh, it did slow down just a tad when I was looking. I think it might have been just trying to load still, like a internet connection thing, more than a, a, phone, a slow processor thing. And uh, the movies look really good. They uh, play pretty quickly too on here. Uh, I can't show you what the movies look like, but they trust me, they look good. So here I'm showing you uh, in super speeded up motion my uh, process of customizing out the desktop in Go Launcher. So look how easy this is. You just click the app you want and it just slides down there. Then I'm going to go ahead and make folders of putting them in categories and name all these folders. So it took a while to get all this done, but just want to show you how it works in Go Launcher cuz it's really smooth in there. It's better than the stock launcher. Although this one's much better than the Samsung launcher. I'll put a link to the MK808 in the description down below. Amazon has pretty much one of the best prices I've found on the internet for it. Plus, their shipping was fast. It only took them about five days to get to me. Uh, I know a lot of these Android mini PCs come from China, so the shipping can be a week to even more, two or three weeks sometimes. But uh, anyways, uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I'm going to have lots of media player reviews coming up. I'm going to try to do gaming on this Android mini PC. Um, and I've got a way to stream your Android phone to an Apple TV or to a Western Digital live stream media player. So uh, I'm going to try to get those up as soon as I can. Stay tuned and uh, give me a like. It'll help me out a ton. And uh, put any questions you have down in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. And as always, aloha.